Hello, and my name is Mr Mallinson, the Principal of the Ruth Gorse Academy. This evening we are holding a Year 11 consultation event, whereby we wanted to discuss with you the progress of our Year 11 students so far. It's been an exceptional start to the academic year, and we are very proud of the way the students have returned to school in a mature, studious and focused manner. Whilst I can appreciate, as a parent and as a student, these are uncertain times given the fact that your child or you individually are going through your GCSEs, we wanted to provide you with an opportunity to seek more information and reassurance regarding that process. The DfE and Ofqual are yet to determine whether the examinations will be taken externally through assessments or as part of a centre assessed grade process. Regardless of the approach, it is our job to make sure that you are fully prepared for those examinations. It's really important that you understand that there are a range of sources that we take our information for in order to make an assessment of your child or your progress. That could be through interim assessments, mock examinations, purple zone activities, class discussions and the work displayed day in, day out within your books. It is imperative that you understand that your efforts are consistent, they are seen to be reflective of your attitude to learning, and also that you are able to obtain the very best grades at the end of the examination process. For us, it's about that consistent effort in terms of your attendance and punctuality, your attitude to learning, and your engagement with members of staff who are supporting you to achieve the very best grades possible in order for you to go on to your post-16 destination of work, employment, vocational studies or potentially A-levels. As we embark upon the coming months, it's essential that you understand there are a range of support mechanisms within school and external to school that you need to access. I talked to the Year 11 cohort at the start of the academic year about the three R's, routines, relationships and rectitude. The routines that students have in the coming months are essential in order to get, uh, get themselves fully prepared for the examination process. In terms of relationships, they're going to rely upon their peers, their friends, their families and us as the teaching professionals. It's really important that every child feels as though they have a support network around them so that they can get through these difficult times. And finally, rectitude. Ultimately, the assessments that students will take, whether that be in school or in external examinations, it's up to them. And for me, it's about making sure that students are trying their very best, even when none of us are watching. Therefore, I would look to support your child in the coming months by making sure you're holding those valuable conversations around what their aspirations are for the future. And should they need some further advice, we have again a range of professionals at the academy that can support students through that decision making process. Finally, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank you, the families of our Year 11 students, for your continued support. And please know that you are not alone. It's a scary time for many families going through this process. And we want you to know that we're here for you at the academy on the end of a telephone, at the end of an email, or where it is appropriate to meet with you in person. I look forward to seeing you personally during the next academic year.